Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi, and welcome to this video. This is the very simple birthday card we're making today. Isn't it gorgeous? So let me show you what I did. The stamp set we're going to be using is this one called Happy Thoughts. I'm going to use this one that says Happy Birthday. And I've got a piece here of basic white. <coughs> Excuse me. And gorgeous grey pink, which is what we're going to stamp in. Um, it's one of the colours in the designer series paper. Just give it a really good ink. And then in the centre, down, hold, up like that. Perfect. Close up our ink pan because we're finished with that now. I'm going to bring in here, these are the Stitch So Sweetly dies. And I can never remember which ones I use, as you know. So I have to compare. Yep, this is one. So I'm going to just centre it and then I'm just going to use a piece of post-it note tape to hold it in place and then I have a piece here of gorgeous grape and I'm going to put on the next size up and again another piece of post-it note tape to hold that in place and then I'm going to bring in my little baby boss and I'm just going to run both of these through the machine. So we've got our base plate, plate number two, and another number two on top, and then you are just going to run this all the way through. Just like that, that one, and then this one here. you get it into the opening if it's not in the opening it can't take it through okay so everything is run through just gonna lift off the post-it note tape gently and I save these pieces and I reuse them I reuse them until there's nothing left to you so it really doesn't go to waste it's not it really I use the guts out of this tape until there's not much of it left. There we go. Take that away. Put this back. And I like having the magnetic sheet. I always cut a piece of magnetic sheet. And it just helps keep everything sort of in place. So get rid of these bits. Okay, and then we're going to stick this down. If we can find our snail, here it is. Lovely. And I like the little stitching on each side. Upside down, but for now that's okay. Just turn it the right way around. And then here I've got some of the Hydrangea Haven designer series paper, which is really pretty. I'm going to use this side and I've got here a standard A6 card base in gorgeous grape. That's an A4 sheet cut in half and then folded in half. I'm going to stick one to the other and then I am going to pop this piece up. I'm lazy today so I'm going to use some of my um, edges because you know me I quite like I love edges of my dimensionals, less backings to pull off and I'm always happy. So there we go and I'm going to pull off, quite often you'll find I've used my edges before I've used the rest of my um, dimensionals. I really find it so much easier and then I'm just going to pop a few in the centre. Give it a bit of a press down to make sure everything sticks and take off the backings. There we go. Bring back our card and put this in the centre just like that. Get rid of these backings. 
in the bin. There you go. And now we're going to use some of this gorgeous grape ribbon, which is a sheer ribbon, and it is, as the name suggests, gorgeous. And we're just going to attempt to tie a little bow. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you will know that me and bows don't always see eye to eye. And I think this is one of those days. Let's see. I have to say, I'm in no mood to fight with a bow today. <laughs> um, how will do. Okay, so I'm filming this. It's the... 27th of April but I know this is not going to go live until actually June because I work that far ahead of myself so yesterday was the first day I actually ventured in properly into the high street since last year um, I went first thing in the morning still well not first thing I wanted to go earlier but I had to take my mother to an appointment so I couldn't go as early as I want. I was only there for half past nine, which was a bit late for me, but it wasn't too bad. It was getting a little busy, or what I consider busy. Um, not overly busy, but actually the shops weren't that busy. You know, what was busy was people just sitting outside eating or having, you know, morning coffee or something, which is great, you know. It's nice to see people out and about, but... I have to say, I'm, but I don't really drink a lot of tea. I don't drink any coffee. Um, cafe culture sort of um, bypasses me <laughs> quite often, to be honest. Um, and it is really because I don't drink, you know, I don't drink coffee, certainly don't drink tea. I drink a little bit of tea, but not much. And I don't have any, and I never have really hardly any sweets or pastries or anything because I'd have to. I'm type 1 diabetic and I'd have to um, take some insulin and I just can't be bothered to try and figure out how much insulin to take and then fight with the highs afterwards. So I'd rather, I don't have a sweet tooth so I just bypass it all. Anyway, enough of all of that jazz. Look at our two lovely cards. Aren't they so pretty? Um, I can't wait actually for the hydrangeas to come out in our garden. Um, I love hydrangeas. I love big blooms of flowers. It just makes my heart sing. So there you go, two beautiful cards for someone's birthday. I hope you liked them. If you did, I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so YouTube know. And don't forget to subscribe to future videos. If you wanted more information about this project, supply list, links to my online shop, it'll all be in the description box below, um, including all the links to my website and my social media links, and my Facebook group and all that good stuff. So thank you again and until next time, enjoy being creative. Bye bye.